Good afternoon, everyone. And I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you all on behalf of Matthew and Dawn, and may I welcome you to Uplands in Buckinghamshire. On their behalf, I would also like to thank you all for coming to share with them their special day. No matter how far you have travelled today, please know that all of you are very welcome. All relationships take place within a framework of family and friends, and you are the very special people that Matthew and Dawn have asked to be with them on this very special day. I would like to introduce my colleague, Claire Patterson, who is the registrar for the wedding today. And Claire has the important task of recording the official entry into the archives here in High Wycombe, where we hold records for the south of Buckinghamshire, dating back to 1837. And my name is Rukminda Makin. I'm a Deputy Superintendent Registrar for the Buckinghamshire District, and it is a great privilege for me to be conducting your ceremony here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Matthew and Dawn and to witness their vows of matrimony. The vows that they're about to make will join their lives together and the life that they agree to share will bind all of their hopes and aspirations. Matthew and Dawn, today you are making a formal and public pledge of your love for each other. As in each other's company, you have found trust, love and happiness. Today is a day that you will always remember. It is one of celebration that you will look back on for many years to come. Marriage joins two people who trust the love that they have found and wish to share their future together. It is a partnership in which each can grow and it is a statement to us all here today of the love, friendship and commitment that you both wish to share for the rest of your lives. Together you will share your strengths and support each other through life's joys and sorrows and you will be stronger to meet whatever the future holds for both of you. Before the marriage begins, I must address you all with the following words, that this place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages and you are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Matthew John Cleeton and Dawn Margaret Carmichael. And if any person here knows of any lawful reason why this marriage should not be entered into, they should declare it now. <laughs> so far, you've invited the right people today. Then. Okay, Matthew and Dawn, I'm now going to ask you both to declare the full names by which you are known today. The groom first, would you please state your full legal names? I am Matthew John Clayton. Thank you. And now the bride. I am Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Thank you. Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to make today. That marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And I'm now going to ask you each in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to one another here today. And again, starting with the groom, Matthew, if you could please repeat the words first. I declare... I declare... That I know of... <coughs> I declare that I know... What, what, sorry. Okay, take your time. Yeah. That I know of... That I know of... No legal reason... No legal reason... Why I, Matthew John Cleeton... No legal reason why I, Matthew John Cleeton, may not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Dawn Margaret Carmichael. To Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Okay, thank you. And now the bride. I declare. I declare. That I know of. That I know of. No legal reason. No legal reason. Why I, Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Why I, Dawn Margaret Carmichael. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Matthew John Cleeton. To Matthew John Cleeton. Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom have chosen two special readings for this for their ceremony today. And the reading will be presented by Michelle Burton. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. <laughs> I feel a bit nervous. He never leaves the seat up or the towels upon the floor. The toothpaste has the lid on and he always shuts the door. He's very clean and tidy, though he may sometimes delude. Leave your things out at your peril. In a second, they'll have moved. <laughs> she romances him when dines him, hope cooked dinners and the like. She even knows his favourite food and spoils him day and night. Sorry, I'm so nervous, sorry. <laughs> She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Well, he looked that good in 50 years when his dentures aren't in place. He says he loves her figure and her mental prowess too, but when gravity takes over, will she charm with her IQ? She says she loves his kindness and his patience is a must, and of course she thinks he's handsome, which in her eyes is a plus. They're both not wholly perfect, but who are we to judge? And he can be pig-headed where she won't even budge. All that said and done, they love the time they spend together, and I hope as sure as I'm due that this fine day will last forever. Sorry, this bit's really sad. <laughs> He'll be more than just her husband. He'll also be her friend. And she'll be more than just his wife. She'll be his soulmate till the end. This poem is for bride and groom, a married couple now. It's a token of the love they share and the thought behind each vow. Thank you, guys. <laughs> The solemn and joyous moment has now arrived, ladies and gentlemen, for Matthew and Dawn, two persons to contract their marriage before you, their guests and witnesses. And for this part of the ceremony, for those of you who easily can, please stand to support them. For Matthew and Dawn, getting married here today is a confirmation that in each other's company they have found happiness and contentment and it is in this spirit that they have chosen to make the following promise to each other. Do you, Matthew, take Dawn to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal and faithful to her for the rest of your lives? I do. And do you, Dawn, take Matthew to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal and faithful to him for the rest of your lives? I do. And now may I ask who gives this woman to be married to this man today? Thank you, sir. Thank you. And if I can ask you to turn and face each other, put two hands in two. And the groom first, if you could please repeat the words. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Matthew John Clayton. Matthew John Clayton. Do take thee. Do take thee. Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Dawn Margaret Carmichael. To be my lawful wife. To be my lawful wife. Today, a day of celebration, I promise to share my life with you, to love and to care for you with all my heart for all the time together as husband and wife should. Thank you. And now the bride. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Dawn Margaret Carmichael. Do take thee. Do take thee. Matthew John Cleeton. Matthew John Cleeton. To be my lawful husband. To be my lawful husband. Matthew, it was your big eyes and big smile that first attracted me to you along with your unique dance moves and dress sense. <laughs> but it, it was your big heart that made me stay. Um, your ability to make me laugh and feel safe when I am with you. As we stand here side by side, ready to start married life, I promise you this is where I'll always be, by your side. We'll enjoy the good times and face the bad times together. When you are sick, I will nurse, back, nurse you back to health. I promise I'll always be there for you. I give you my hand to hold and my heart to keep. I am your woman, 
your wife, and I'll always love you. It is part of a long tradition of marriage in this country that the marriage is sealed with the exchange of rings. The wedding ring is the unbroken circle, symbolising unending and everlasting love. With no beginning and no end, it is the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you have both made to each other today. I would like to invite the best man, Danny Grattan, forward, please, to present first the bride's wedding ring to the groom. Thank you, Danny. And Matthew, if you'd like to place the wedding band on Dawn's left hand and repeat the following words, please. Do you want to just hold it? Yeah. Perfect. Dawn, I give you this ring. Dawn, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. And if you'd like to place the ring. Are we on there? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and da Danny, the final ring, please. Thank, Thank you. you. And again, Dawn, if you'd like to place it on Matthew's left hand, and if you hold it in place. Matthew, I give you this ring. Matthew, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. And if you'd like to place the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to take your seats again, please. I'd now like to welcome Victoria forward, please, to present the second and final reading, chapter one of 1000. I try and hold it together again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're on top. For two people, this dawn brought on a magical day. Now husband and wife, they head on their way. As a boat setting sail, may their journey begin with the calmest of waters, most helpful of wind. And if they should stumble upon turbulent sea, sorry, whew, may it pass them unharming, leave them be. For here are two people whom love has well bitten. Here opens their book, which is yet to be written. As the first page unfolds and life, their life ink slits path, may it write a true story where forever love lasts. Let their journey be happy till death do they part. Of 1,000 chapters, may this be the start. Okay. Matthew and Dawn, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made the solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family and friends gathered here today. The two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony and have promised your love for each other by the exchange of vows and the giving of rings. With your marriage today, you begin a new chapter in your life together. And I do hope that the love you have for each other will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. Put your trust in each other and each be worthy of that trust. And when you face difficulties, as happens in all marriages, remember what brought you together, never forgetting the promises that you have both made to each other today and never losing sight of the good things in your relationship. Let respect, tolerance and friendship be the foundation of your marriage and you will create a lifetime of love and happiness. And now, Matthew and Dawn, it gives me great pleasure and privilege to declare that you're lawfully joined together in matrimony as man and wife. May I be the very first to congratulate you both and wish you every happiness in your life together. And I'm sure, Matthew, your guests won't mind if you give your wife a kiss to seal the occasion. <laughs>